My name is Tawny Cross and I have four kids. I kind of grew up all over the place. My parents moved us around quite a bit. We stayed in a lot of motel rooms. They were really heavy alcoholics and they, my, my dad at the time was building up quite, quite a criminal history for himself. So every time he ended up in jail or, you know, some bad things happened, they just decided they wanted to move. I went to school, I made friends. This boy from school invited me to the movies. I was probably 13 at the time. That age, I guess I just wasn't thinking about anything bad. Like, it couldn't happen to me, you know. And he said he had to change, and we got to his house and he invited me inside. And the whole time I didn't even know that it was all a lie. I didn't know that was gonna be the last time I was gonna see outside for a while. I woke up a few days later and I just had flashbacks of things, awful things that had happened. When he finally decided it was time to take me home, he, drew, he drove me back to my house and just pushed me out of the car on the side of the road and just left me there. As I got older, my parents, their drinking got a lot worse. I had met a guy, um, he was 18. I was moving pretty fast, actually. I thought I was all grown up, but I wasn't. <laughs> he asked if I just wanted to move in with him. That was the first time that I experienced drugs. So I decided, well, hey, since I didn't graduate high school, I'm gonna shoot for my GED. I lasted about four months before I ended up experimenting again. And I ended up going to the streets. After that, it was quite a year, quite a lot of years of like relapses and jail time. And um, while I was in the workhouse is when they connected me with Avivo. I was seven and a half months pregnant with my youngest. I felt like at the time that was when I needed Avivo most. And they definitely helped me through it. When I came to Avivo, um, I was in the family program. They give you housing when you get set up here. You have your housing and then you go to your programs and you have daycare while you're in your programs. That's a big thing, that's a big help. The housing really helped a lot. Stability for me and stability to help me get my kids back. It got me ready for real life. The staff is just, yeah, they're really nice and caring and kind of like, um, created like a family bond. Now that I have my kids and I have visits with my other two kids, my next steps are housing and either training, some sort of train job training or finding a job. Um, I just want to be able to be in a stable place and create a life that I enjoy living and for my kids to be able to trust me and know that I'm here to stay.